out of the red corner, wearing gray trunks, joining us from Kharkiv, Ukraine, Alexander the Nail Gvozdy! And his opponent across the ring, ready to go, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing trunks of the color black with multi-colored trim. Yourselves at all times, listen, Mike Mance. Touch him up. Back to your corner, gentlemen. Said, hey, I checked that chin and I'm going to do it again. He feels he could score the best knockout of his career in the light heavyweight debut. He's used said than done against a guy who's only been stopped once, and that's when he ran into the proverbial wall against Archer Beterbiev when they fought each other for the light unified light heavyweight crown. And Beterbiev was able to drop him three times and stop him. And Bostic went on a long hiatus, retired for three years, came back last year, won all three fights, but he didn't face any. Well, yeah, well, that can put it down for the kind of fighter that David Benavides is. 175 pounds. You're making me hungry, but now that being said, <laughs> I, 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 you know, mm, nice the Bostic does look really big in the ring, comparatively speaking. Um, and Benavides said that that would be a benefit to him because then the body would be there more. In fact, he says it's a sigh of relief that Bostic is he, 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 taller than him. The real estate of the ring as we end the first time right there. Good stuff. One double jab, one, two, three, and then the body. The bell and round number two. A jab immediately on display from Bostic, but there's a stiff jab from Benavides. And that's something we wanted, he wanted to use a little more, showcase his jab and his improved defense, he says. Yeah, way stronger jab for Benavides. Again, Bozdik's jab is going to be more of a measuring jab uh, to let those straight punches go. But again, Benavides with the power shots always, and, and the body work that the corner asked for that. Well, either. He's kind of holding his ground as well, which is a little surprising. He felt Benavides punches already in the first round. I mean, in the second one, he said, hey, I could take him. So he's holding his ground, speaking of Just past the midway point of the second. Benavides walking down, closed deck there, Ooh. fires off a right hand. Really nice right hand by Benavides. The seeded title that will be determined in October, Dimitri. For that bell, gentlemen. Took it to Bozdek in Time right there, at the bell. At the bell. Right on, Jim. Thank you very much. Uh, mano a mano is what we're seeing here between Bozdek and Benavides. Bozdek trying to keep the, the jab going to try to stop the the attack, the pressure of Benavides. He stabs him in the body with a right hand. Yeah, and that's what you want to do if you close him. He won't be in the outside there. Sharp that jab, jab right hand by Bozdek. E even if nice it's not hard. Benavides. Set it up, you know, for you to land that right hand. Exactly. Straight punches. That's where you want to keep Benavides. Punch combination by Bozdek. Right, peppering Benavides and then turning, getting right. Um, Ukraine, the war-torn nation, uh, helping to inspire them. And boy, in terms of what they've been doing in the ring, definitely inspiring their country with the likes of Alexander Usyk, Vasily Lomachenko, Denis Herenchuk, and Sergei Borchuk, all big wins. And now, Bozdek would like to record a, a shocking victory here. He is a big underdog against David Benavides, but he's a guy who comes with all kinds of credentials, an Olympic medalist and a former lineal champion of this weight class. That right and in the lengthy reign of Adonis Stevenson, the high guard. Before his reign ended at the hands of the Time right there, gentlemen. Good job, good job. Benavides has landed a quarter of his thrown combos that are four and five plus. So a little slacking there with that beautiful three punch combo. Yeah. <laughs> Round number four. And there's the jab from Bozdek, continues to pepper Benavides. Benavides showing good defense. Yeah, but you, you don't want to say it. You don't stay on the ropes, keep doing the same thing you were doing, Benavides. Keep walking forward. And Benavides, the body snatcher in this fight. Yeah, Bozdik's corner told him that he's got to do something substantive to get it. He's got to land some shots like Benavides is doing. Right now, he's just kind of peckling. And then Benavides can count on top of that. 
Double triple jab to Jim Wall, loading up the right hand by Benavides. Let me try to do that. Nice job by Bostic, but now he's getting tagged by the combination of Benavides. Benavides going to the body of Benavides. So accurate, so precise. Lands a jump and left up the pitch. Benavides went 23 of 45 compared to 11 of 66 for Bozdek. I landed him 8 to 2 in the body shot department. And we mentioned the fact that they did spar five years ago when we asked Bozdek about it. He said the difference between sparring Benavides and now fighting him is being hit with a pillow and being hit with a bat. Well, Benavides is looking to hit him like an Aaron Judge home run. And Benavides lead left hook also curling behind the guard of Bozdek. And Bozdek, yes, starting to slow down. The body shots beginning to take their toll. And those hit strikes as well, but Bozdek still trying to punch back. Looks in combinations of Benavides. For left hand. See those that help. Follow it up with the right hand. Finishes. And yet Bozdek continues to fight back out here in the fist. And now as we begin round at number six, Benavides, that left setting, and he's going to set up another trap for Bozdik, who looks to flash the jab, goes to the body, and then upstairs, splitting the high guard with the right hand. There's a body shot from Benavides again. Three piece, he was just missing the sword. <laughs> that was a beautiful uppercut right Shut hand. Corey Massey. And the uh, UC1 did it with the uppercut. He's, he's, he's tagging him. He's tagging him. First half of this 12 rounder. I didn't like him better be this, Joe. I, I, I like his aggression. He's not getting too too excited. He's not at the end. He, he kind of overreached with that left. He didn't quite like that. Uh, you know, I don't correct Man, here threw just 39 punches that last round. Left at 17. But definitely not the volume we are used to seeing. Although here we go, second half of the fight is when yeah. it turns into that buzz saw, guys. Yeah. Hey, hey, look, I like Benavides at 68. I like him at 75 because there's really no discernible difference in what he does. Bozdik. Yeah, he's letting Bozdik get off the uh, yeah, yeah. But Benavides is, of course, missing a lot of those shots. But number eight, scheduled for 12. Alexander Bozdik, who is 20 and 1, with 16 knockouts alone to beat the stoppage against Artur Betterview. This is round number eight. Jab from Bozdik doesn't follow up with his best weapon, the right hand. Like the coach will say, Joe. Yeah, yeah, like the coach will say, Joe. Like Bozdik left hook lands for Bozdik. You want to let the nice the punch out. combination by the nail. He's still in the fight. Bozdik definitely in the fight here in this round. Putting yeah. together good combinations. Opening up on Benavides. But that's because Benavides is there. Misses with a sweeping left hand by Benavides the left. Left to the body. Beautiful combination by Benavides. Always the accuracy, always the precision. The bell and round number nine of David Benavides' first foray at 175 pounds. Landing 44% of his punches, 48% of his power punches, 35% of his jab compared to Bozdek, who's able to muster only 21% of his punches, landing 26% power and 17% of his jab. No, from this distance too, by the way, Bozdek should be letting his hands go. I mean, look, he's a little bit taller, a little bit bigger. He, he, right there, like that, he should be throwing one, twos, one, twos hooks from a distance right here. Trying to land power shots. Like that, right there. Oh, you're right. 
top of the mic. He had 250 amateur fights, Olympic bronze medal at the 2012 Games for Golden State Hotel from Benavides at 15 years old. And low baiting Bozdick. Round 10 of this light heavyweight affair between David Benavides making his debut at 175 against veteran, lifelong, career-long light heavyweight Alexander Bozdick. Again, this is a new weight class for Benavides. Uh, see a little bit of fatigue as well. Well, I mean, he was yes. the youngest 168-pound champion in history at the age of 20 when he beat Ronald Gabriel, overcoming a, the only knockdown of his career and winning that fight and then really taking it to Gabriel in the rematch. And so David Benavides, uh, vote to call him a winner. Only at 168, of course, facing guys that were coming up and, and others, I mean... And he probably got the number that we talked about the right hand following up with the hook. That's right. Time. I think Bozdick probably did more that last round. Round 11 has arrived here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. As David Benavides was outlanded to Bozdick 190 to 124 punches total, 73, 27 edge in terms of body punches landed, but we have not seen the high volume of Benavides. Used to say combination for Bozdick, right hand counter by Benavides again. Bozdick with the right hand counter for Bozdick, right hand counter by Benavides again. Not the same, but again, here is Benavides walking through the shots. Benavides, Benavides trying to stop him with a body shot. There's that cut. Dumbing. And this light heavyweight cold feature. Time right there. Last round, guys. Keep it nice and clean. Go. David Benavides and Alexander Vosdick. And Vosdick fires off the first combination. Benavides continues to go into the box. You give him both the last three rounds. Oh, you help me give him the last David, got to get him up. Get him up, David. To be the best that he can be, an emerging superstar. And here at light heavyweight in his debut with 40 seconds left. He is outlanding the bow stick. He's landed almost 50% of his final shots here. Hell of a job, guys. We have a unanimous decision in favor of the winner, the Mexican monster.